Joni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, recently we have some reports of hail and thunderstorms out there right now, so let's get you right to live Pinpoint Doppler 12. Here's what's going on. You can see that little bolt of lightning just offshore from Rhode Island, and certainly some more scattered thunderstorms are possible today. Basically, the green represents where there is lighter rain, a lot of that out there in scattered form right now and the specks of yellow and red that's where the showers are a bit heavier and also also where we have found some hail you could see this uh, patch of red there in North Attleboro had a report of some hail in North Attleboro earlier and right now or at least recently we have received some reports of hail over on the East Bay in places like Barrington you could see the uh, red dots indicating where some of that hail and some of those heavier downpours are and mixed in with some of this hail and downpours could be the threat of lightning it will be off and on today so there'll be periods where it stops raining and the uh, clouds go away maybe a little bit and you get a little bit of sunshine and then some darker clouds and storms move back in. Just kind of an un unsettled day. You can see the direction of all the showers and storms are from north to south and that will continue for pretty much the rest of the afternoon. Back and forth between the dark clouds and a little bit of blue sky in Providence right now. Had some heavier rain earlier. Right now it doesn't look too bad. Temperature is 54 degrees. Winds are out of the northeast at 12 miles an hour. You can see the uh, wind direction and speed primarily from the north. Now there's a chance that some of these winds along the shore may shift from the south, a little bit of a sea breeze front developing, and that, that may actually enhance some of those showers and downpours as we go throughout the day. Temperatures in the 40s where we've seen recent rain, 45 right now in Smithfield, chilly in Westerly at 46, Newport at 55 degrees right now. As we look at the satellite picture, you can see center of low pressure offshore, and that's pulling all these shower in, showers in from the north. The wind also coming in from the north. This will cap our temperatures today with those winds around 15 miles an hour, although temperatures will be in the 50s for a good part of the afternoon, it may feel like it's in the low 50s and upper 40s with that wind chill. Scattered showers and storms the rest of the afternoon, 2 o'clock. You can see the green representing where those scattered showers are. Same story at 5 p.m. As we go overnight, we turn the threat off of the showers and then into tomorrow morning, that's where the sun starts to come out and we get a really nice end to the work week as we go throughout Friday afternoon. You can see by Friday at 2 o'clock, the clouds clear out and we bring in the sunshine. For today, some uh, small hail possible in pockets, scattered showers and thunderstorms also. Uh, potentially there, temperatures in the upper 50s, not really moving very far from where we are right now. South Shore temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, 55 in Charlestown, Hope Valley at 56. For Northern Rhode Island, we're talking about temperatures in the mid 50s as well, with some of those scattered showers and the slight chance of a thunderstorm. And same story in Eastern Massachusetts with mid 50s and scattered showers. Out on the water, visibility 3 to 5 miles, a uh, nippy wind out of the northeast at 5 to 15 knots. And tonight, temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. So as those winds calm, those temperatures will drop. But we rebound to 63 tomorrow, 68 on Saturday. Slight chance of some showers Saturday night into Sunday. Optimistically, I'm drying out Sunday afternoon. And how about Marathon Monday in Boston? I'm forecasting 72 here in Providence. If you're headed to the marathon, if maybe you have the day off, we're looking at upper 60s there. So pretty nice end to the weekend and start of next week. All right, thanks for the update, Pete. Now we want to take a look at what we're working on for Eyewitness News. Beginning live at 5, cycling for a cure. A cancer patient's husband embarks on a 3,000.